Victoria Wynn, founder of the Lies I Tell Myself Project, with Jeremy Finlay, who has been such a supporter of me and, and me right back to you. And he's a professional writer, singer, um, pianist. And I asked you here and thank you for chatting with me, really. And kind of last minute, too. Um, so thank you for supporting me in this. But I would love for you to share your story from not even thinking you could sing or thinking you're horrible to, you know, rock band three, to um, being lead singer in your band, to teaching others now how to sing. Like, what happened here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, the story is really interesting. Um, I started off as a pianist. I, was a pian I took piano lessons when I was 12, and, um, you know, all, all the way up through my teenage years, I was always playing the piano for other people in their band, and uh, I was like the, the geeky piano skateboarder kid. What kind of piano? Like you're talking about classical? Yeah, okay. yeah. I took classical lessons for two, for a couple of years, uh -huh. and I just kept playing. I just kept, I loved it so much. I loved the music. I loved just being in that mode of creativity, and so I kept going. And uh, I was in bands, and I was in groups, and I'd play in church sometimes. And it was just overall um, that was I was known as the piano kid, the kid that played piano. <laughs> and um, you know, when I got a little later into my into my teens, playing piano for all these these cool bands and, and playing for people and I, I ever since I was a young kid I had this love and, and passion for wanting to be a public speaker and I wanted to be someone that was on stage and influencing people and I wanted to be a positive influence and uh, I figured you know I love music so much I love that to be my, my way you know hmm. my little calling my path per se um, except for one thing like I didn't I couldn't sing <laughs> Except for one little problem. Except for one thing, I couldn't sing, and so what I what I what I gave into was, I want to do that. I want to be I want to be this guy on stage. I want to be this speaker. I want to be this singer, but I can't do it. I, like my lie was that I haven't done that. People know me as the piano guy. I'm going to stay the piano guy. Like you know, my friends, I'd st I'd like sing in front of them. They're like, dude, like you should play the piano. Like. <laughs> You should, like, that's what you do. <laughs> and so I gave into this lie, like, okay, I'm the piano guy. But then I had this undercurrent, like, this raging undercurrent of, like, I want to be up there on stage singing. Mm. Um, and so I was a writer. I'd started writing music. I started writing classical music. And so then I, I'd started to write some more popular style music. Um, so I started writing that, and I was putting my own, yeah, I was singing to it. And... I wasn't really getting any sort of like, you're awesome. <laughs> I wasn't getting any sort of like, you sound good. <laughs> I get complimented on if my piano sounded good. Like, oh, that's a cool chord progression you got there. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, whatever. Like, <laughs> okay, like, I'm still doing this. I'm still, I'm going to write music and I'm going to write lyrics and melodies. And maybe someone else will sing it. But I'd show my friends and, and there were just these, like, I just kept getting pushed back. So anyway, so there's a point in time. It was like a, like the, I was on the precipice of something. <clears throat> I like using that word, by the way. I like it's good. I'll use it in any opportunity I can. <laughs> so um, they have open mic nights at coffee shops, mm -hmm. and I figured that was like ground floor, best place I could go to like test it. But um, I was I was terrified to go. I was terrified to to go and just bust it and sing it in front of people, you know. And so I was like. The Saturday was coming in a couple days. I spent that week writing some songs, and I, I was like, Dad, can you, can you take me to the coffee shop? I open mic night, and I like loaded, I couldn't even drive there myself. Like I loaded my, the keyboard in the back with an amp, and, and we, it was like barely fit, and I, the whole time there I'm just like, oh, like okay, mm. and I got there and I waited a couple for a couple people to go and I was like sweating bullets, you know. So I get up there, I set my keyboard up, and I'm like, "All right, <laughs> what's up, guys? This is like my first time ever, okay? My first time singing, like really in, in front of a crowd. Like I'm new to this, you know. So get on the piano, start playing my song. I'm like closing my, I'm like my eyes are like just so tightly closed because. I just don't want to look at people like yeah. watching me sing. And so I finished my first song and like I was like open my eyes and people started clapping for me. 
they were like clapping. And no matter how, even if it was fake, like even if it was a fake clap, like that moment was like, no way. Like I can do this. People liked it. Like people actually liked me. They liked my voice, not just my music, not just my piano. And yeah, that was like the start of it. And then I never took a voice lesson, so it took me a couple years to like actually have people genuinely clap for me. <laughs> you know, genuinely be like, dude, that was rad. That was awesome. But it, it like that gave me the belief. Like that was the moment in time that shifted my my lie into a, a moment of. I believe I can do this. I can do this, you know.、Uh, and so, a couple years, you know, fast forward a couple years, and、um, you know, I, I I sing in a in a in a rock band.、Uh, we were voted by Reverb Nation the, the number one rock band in Salt Lake.、Um, <laughs> so、I did not know that, yeah, and、you. I follow you pretty closely, and I'm not sure I missed that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And we have music on Rock Band Three.、Yeah. Um, We've sung. I've sung for you know thousands and thousands of people. Like you know, I think the biggest crowd I've sang for is like seven thousand people crowd. You know, of just me singing up there, and、That's、I、amazing. teach people how to sing. And、um, yeah, I, I mean, it's it's what I do. You know, people know me as the guy that sings, who also plays the piano. Though, right? I'm the singer. You're you know? doubly talented. Yeah, like and people, then you play around on drums. Yeah, yeah. Too for my、fun. dad was a drummer, so I grew up with a drum set in the garage. But yeah, I.、Uh, Yeah, like, you know, changing that belief and changing a little bit of confidence, and then just sticking to it, helps me become what I want to, rather than settling for what people wanted me to be. And what about the people though that were in your life saying, "Jeremy, you got this. Like, don't give up on that." You know, sometimes we need those people in our life. Like in in my story. Man, the beginning of the the lies project, I just wasn't sure I was really the right person to deliver the message. And people like you, you know, and, and other people in my life, just saying, "No, like you got this. You're given a gift. So go go at it and go big." And and it's amazing.、Uh, I think you know when we、um, sometimes we do have to rely on. The compliments that the, the genuine compliments that people give us to take、mm-hmm. us through those tough days. Yeah, without question,、yeah. it keeps it keeps us feeling special. You know,、yeah. I think as soon as we don't feel like we feel special or like we are, then it's like, well, why does it matter that I want to be that? I'm not special, you know. But that's a big lie that we tell ourselves、yes. is that we are not important, and we totally are. Without question, every one of us is 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 innately. I mean, inevitably, like you can't change. We are so important, and so like when we give in to the truth of maybe I am special, then it gives value into what we want to be, you know. And so that's what they do, you know. People who give us positive feedback, even if it's like half like hard truth, like yeah, you're okay, but you're a good singer. Like keep doing it.、Mm-hmm. That's like okay, you know. Yeah, and I found the gift of of positive. Uh, sorry, not positive. Just feedback. Period. I call it positive feedback because to me, I like to. It, to me, feedback is so useful. Breakfast of the champions. Yeah, it's, it's just so useful. So、yeah. I guess in my head, I automatically said positive. Positive, but I don't mean like accolades. You know, I just mean true.、Um, hey, Vic, you get a little wordy. Tighten, tighten things up with your message, or、yeah. you know, things、yeah. like that. That's so valuable. Totally. I, I wouldn't be the singer I'm today without. Feedback I've I've gotten, without question, you know, because sometimes we get a little cocky. We get good at something and we get a little cocky, and we feel like we have nowhere to improve, you、uh-huh. know. And then that's when we start going downhill. It's like always. It's, a, it's like poison, right,、yeah. to our success. Yeah, it's true. Thinking I'm done. Like, don't be giving、oh, I'm me. I'm good. I got this. Giving me advice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, having humility to be able to listen to to the, to what might be true. Even if it's not, check in with it and be like, "How could this be true?、Mm-hmm. I don't believe it, but how could it be? Let's let's swim around in this for a minute,、Dude. you know?" Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, maybe that is true, you know? Yeah. But, it's worth the digging, the self investigation.、Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing your your、My、life、pleasure. and and your truth, especially your truth that, you know, you're inherently worthy. We were born worthy. So it's just our, it's our own self-limiting beliefs that are telling us,、yeah. no, you shouldn't have that. You shouldn't be able to do that. That's for other people to do, and that was a big lie that I had. Yeah. 
uh, that's for Oprah, <laughs> you know, that's not for me to to have a stand and have my own opinions and beliefs. I was a, I had to let go of that, you know, and just be like, um, I'm important too, you know. You are incredibly important, Victoria, because you're just so special. <laughs> just kidding, you rock, seriously. <laughs> Thank you wouldn't you. be doing what you're doing now if you didn't allow that. Thank you. I thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for being here. You said.